Hey guys, Scott Jelinski, Modern Samurai Project. Thanks for making it back out here to check out the second part of my Fast Drill series and how to get your times under five seconds. Um, what we're gonna talk about today is the draw to the first two shots to the head, right? So the first thing we gotta talk about that is the uh, starting position of your hands. Classically from Todd Lewis Green, it was hands at sides, hands relaxed. Uh, Ernest, uh, I don't think Ernest cares where you put your hands. You can do hands relaxed, you can high, do high thoracic. You know, his whole thing is that your hand can't be on your gun, right? Um, for the purposes of this demo, I'm going to do hands relaxed and my interpretation of that. I think you guys know from my previous videos, I don't like starting anything from hands relaxed unless it's like an at ease position. Let me explain that to you just a little bit, right? So I like high thoracic, because from here, when some dude's filming you on World Star Hip Hop, right? If you're like this, it's like, hey dude, back off, it's okay. Just, you know, fuck off or whatever. You don't want to say that. But uh, from here, I can jab, cross, hook, shoot in, sprawl, shoot the guy in the face, right? From a hands relaxed position, right? What can I do? Shoot the guy in the face and get knocked out, right? I'm not saying that, I'm not criticizing that, I'm just saying we need to be thinking about it. If you're looking at it from, you know, a fighting perspective or self-defense perspective, nobody gets into fights like this. Do you? Unless you're Yosemite Sam, you don't start fights like this. I'm not criticizing people that start that way. You do you. Plenty of dudes who I may even consider better shooters than me start off that way. But I'm just expressing my opinion on that whole stuff. You do you, okay? Uh, when I do start from hands relaxed, because there is an application, I think I talked about that, you know, seeing somebody taking off with your, with your wife 25 yards away, you're not gonna do this, you know, and go from there. But I think it's gonna be something that needs to be repeatable. The hem of my shirt is not a proprioceptive index. You cannot rely on that hook always being there. Everybody has messed up. I prefer the at ease position right? Where everybody, everybody has stood like this at one point in time. It takes away, however, the, um, uh, the uh, variable of, can I grab my shirt, my hem, which is a non-proprioceptive index. And it looks like the way we stay, some people stand every single day. That aside, for this hands, we're going to go hands relaxed, which is a classic thing, but I go to my belly button because of the proprioceptive index. You do whatever you want. This is a drill, not a scenario something to think about, right? So the main thing you want to do is you want to be able to get the gun out fast. In some of my videos, I explain where people, you know, they'll shoot 25 yard bulls and they'll draw like this. <sighs> pow, pow, right? And then they'll get up on a three yard drill and they'll do this. <laughs> Pow, pow, there's no sense of modulation, right? So I've said before, you need to use the appropriate amount of information to make an appropriately accurate shot at the speed and distance required. At 25 yards, I need a lot of information, but, and at three yards, I don't need a lot of information to make an appropriate accurate shot. But here's the common part. From here to here, I don't see my gun for the most part. It's not in my peripheral, let's say here. Let's get this part over with. So I don't care if it's one inch away from the target or a hundred yards away from the target. Let's keep this consistent and then modulate as we come out appropriately, right? Why are we modulating, right? So the body works like an X, okay? Unabated, my right arm will go left, right? That's why we have the support hand on the gun. But a lot of people put their support hand on way late and the dominant right hand just takes over and we miss left. It's not always anticipation, guys. Sometimes it's a structure problem, not an anticipation problem, right? So what I say to people is to modulate. Um, I uh, kind of formulated with my own definition and name from what uh, Ernest Langdon has taught for many, many years. Uh, basically, he says slowing down. I say modulate. I hate using the words fast or slow. Your body doesn't know what what um, those miles per hour are, or those speeds are. So I like to say, be more careful or modulate. So for the, for the fast drill, for the first one, you wanna use a 90-10, okay? What's a 90-10, right? So internet, clear gun, right? So a 90-10 is if I'm standing sideways and I'm breaking the shot right here, 
90 is here, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna race to the 90, prep the trigger, watch that dot drop, boom, boom, and hit the second shot. Here's the interesting thing about the 90-10. You get you out with your buddy, you're trying to do it, you're gonna feel like it's slow as molasses, and your buddy's not even gonna notice it. I do a funny metaphor in my class that I'm not gonna say on YouTube, but it's, it's, it's pretty funny. One of those things where something happens in a meeting and you're the only one that knows it. Anyway, come to one of my classes. It's pretty funny, at least I think so. So you're gonna be coming out, you're modulating to that 90-10, prepping the trigger, watching the dot drop as soon as it hits the trip wire, boom, and then you're immediately coming back down because you've got that good Judy chop in, bang, bang. Your goal is the draw, 1.5, and a 0.5 split. There will be different uh, talent abilities, right? For example, when I do mine, I'm more like a 95.5, 98.3, right? Because I know where I'm going. I've done it a hundred times before. I know where I'm going, right? The key again is, so I'll go here on a full draw, right? So we're going here, bang. Right? As soon as we get to here, the dot drops, bang, my grip is nice and tight on my support hand, so the recoil does not go high. As soon as that dot is in the three by five coin in recoil, if it even leaves a three by five, I'm pulling the trigger. Generally for me, that's about a 110, 120 shot and maybe a 25 to 30 split, right? Uh, that's how you get into the low fours and start tickling into the threes. Here's the other concept I'm going to tell you guys about. It's what I call binding, right? Basically what it is is point your foot at what you're, uh, what you're shooting at, okay? For example, and um, you know, I don't think he minds me saying this, but Caleb Giddings was telling me after he won his fast coin that he came to my class and I had reminded him of what BJ Norris told him a long time ago about orienting your foot to where you're going, right? So binding can help, binding can hurt. If my point, if my foot is pointed at a middle target, say in an L press, it's gonna make it very difficult to do accurate shots on the far left target because I'm going against this bind. So that's why we open up our feet, right? And point our feet at the target. So basically what you're gonna be doing if you're right-handed, you got your left toe on the inside of the three by five, which correlates on the inside of the eight inch circle. That way my dominant arm, it unabated, it goes left, but it's not gonna wanna go against that bind. So you're almost pre-aiming and setting up your body to help your aiming, if that makes sense, okay? So people say to me, people said to me in the first like, well, bro, you know, in the drill, whatever, fucking train like you fight, blah, blah, blah. I'm not gonna be make, seeing where my feet are, you know, if I'm gonna get into a fight. I'm like, really, dude? Because here's the deal, bro. If I did a near front kick, guess where my, to your face, guess where my foot is pointed? At your face. So if you can do it then, then it's just a matter of training. And if you can have your body indexed all ready to go, making it easier for your body to make a well-aimed shot and your eyes and arms to make a well-aimed shot, why wouldn't you do that when all you gotta do is point your foot at the target? So anyway, some things to think about there. Think about your hand positions there. You know, if you wanna go for... Uh, you know, if you just want to go for the drill, or if you're trying to do it to incorporate getting your fighting skills better, think about your hand positions. Think about the 90-10. Once again, if you're here at 100, you're modulating to 90, you're raising to the 90, and then you're modulating, prepping, bang, as soon as possible. Also remember that from here to here where I can't see the gun, I'm not aiming. Let's get this stuff over with ASAP, regardless of the distance to the target. And that being said, that's pretty much it. That'll probably, if you do that, that'll get you the 1.5 uh, first shot and the 50 split. Next, we'll talk about reloads and the uh, last four shots. Hope that helps. That being said, as always, be good, stay safe, get training.